Hello everybody and welcome to a backyard edition of Jack Rigo Productions. Doing some grilling right now, I just started. Tonight I'm going to talk about a couple, well, a couple different announcers that have been in baseball and football for a long, long time and show my appreciation for them. The first one is Dick Enberg. I know he's not getting a lot of press right now because it's going to Vince Gully and rightfully so. Dick Gemberg's 80 years old. He's announced the Padres games the last eight years, but I know him from his 1975 to 98 time at NBC Sports, announcing a lot of the Super Bowls as a class act. Merlin Olson, I loved his announcing. I wish he could do it instead of Phil Simms, um, instead of uh, Jim Nance, who's not as good as him. Um, him and uh, Merlin Olson were great together over that decade plus. Um, he called the Broncos Super Bowl victory over Green Bay. He always seemed to have the Elway 4 o'clock games. I love that. He always did the big games, the prominent games, Super Bowls. Whatever you needed him to do, he did. And he was class. A+. Plus. Always was, always will be. And my appreciate for him is fantastic. Just loved his call. Hands it to Riggins. He's going to go all the way. That was his famous thing. Going to go all the way. Well, touchdown. He didn't get too excited. He wasn't too too much over the top like some of the guys are. Now we're going to get to the guy right here. The Nuts Dodger games from 1950 till Sunday, 2016. How is that even possible? Some people don't even live as long as what he's been announcing games. For 67 seasons or 68, I'm not sure. It's unbelievable. Um, Vince Scully is the best announcer, period, end of discussion in any sport. He's got the most class. He's uh, very sincere, at least he comes across that way. He tells a story with every at bat. He'll say, up now is Mike Marshall for the Dodgers. Mike Marshall was born in Ontario, Canada, and back when he was playing in school, he had a 542 average. He also pitched in certain times. Like he'd be going into every, just like that. It was amazing the way he did that. I loved it, I just showed so cool. Also, people forget about him doing the NFL games. He did the famous catch uh, the catch in 1981, the Cowboys against the 49ers, the play that basically started the dynasty for San Francisco. He's got Montana back, touchdown! He didn't go nuts like some people would have, I mean, rightfully so. That was such a big play in NFL history. But he called it with class and respect. I remember him calling Kirk Gibson's home run in 1988. He goes, looking for a miracle, the improbable will come up to the plate. But whatever he said, it was unbelievable, really. Checking on my steak there. Everything's cool. Um, it was unreal to see what he did. He just, when he hit the home run, drive to right field, she is gone. He didn't go nuts. He let the crowd paint the scene, which he has his whole career. Home runs, unless it's really, really, really like that one, he'll say, it's gone. And then he lets the crowd tell the story. Last Sunday, the last game he ever did in Dodger Stadium, this little known guy named Culberson, I don't even remember his first name, came up, the game tied in, in the 10th inning. I don't remember who it's against, I'm sorry. I'll do a bat like that. I'm thinking it was against the Giants. But um, anyways, guy made the pitch. He hits it to left field. And he's go, drive, gone. The crowd was so loud, you couldn't even hear his call. So his last call ever in Dodger Stadium was so humble that you couldn't hear it. That's how quiet he was. Unassuming man that he's been his whole time. I love those stories that he tells. I'm gonna miss them dearly. Um, I don't think anybody else in the history of announcing tells the stories like he does. Maybe they tell some form of story, but he could have been a poet. He's unbelievable, really, how, how good he is. Um, I'm hoping that the Dodgers can win on Sunday just for his last game ever. 1950 to 1919. Wow. See, I can't count. 1950 to 2016. It would really be something if they could get a win. It would be even better if they won on a home run. They're on the road, so it can't be a walk-off, but a home run to take the lead. And then, um, yeah, steak clip time. And this is a big steak, so it's taking forever to cook. Which is okay with me. Um, I just hope they win the game, really. It would be nice. Nice tribute to Vin. He deserves it. He's in the he's in the Broadcasters Hall of Fame. He's in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Rightfully so. He was the best 
nobody will be ever. There will be only one, one Vin Scully in the history of our lifetimes. I hope everybody has seen him, has enjoyed him. Even non-Dodger fans or other fans just know that he's respectful. That's all. He calls the game like it is. He's never a homer. He was wonderful in what he did for all these years. All right. I blabbered along. Hope you like what I had to say for my uh, tributes and have a fantastic evening.